Emanuel Leutze was born in Germany and he studied at uh, Dusseldorf, which was one of the great setters for narrative painting, that is uh, history painting. History painting is not necessarily the facts uh, as they occurred, but how an artist could arrange the facts to make a, a significant point. This is a study by Emanuel Leutze for his uh, large mural in the House of Representatives side of uh, the National Capitol. Uh, it was uh, painted uh, about 1861, uh, right at the time when the nation was going through the throes of a civil war. This is Leutze's narrative of unity of the country, the manifest destiny from sea to sea. When I see a painting, the first thing I do is I look at the entire composition. In the composing is the message. There is an internal narrative that's embedded in that picture. The setting is somewhere in the West. It's a sort of mythical place. Leutze called it the divide, so we can assume that he's talking about the continental divide. The uh, scene is set as the immigrants from the East have uh, gone through all of their uh, troubles and travails and have reached the point where they can see what uh, Leutze called El Dorado or the Golden Land. And he uses color and light in symbolic ways. From the right of the picture, uh, you see a sort of darkness, it's darker colors, though so they're coming out of a shadow of, of some travail. And they're swooping up into this mountain peak. And so it's a symbolic divide between suffering, travail, and the future, the past and the future. The idea of manifest destiny was that uh, this was a will beyond human control. That is, somehow this was destiny and it was seen in history as well as in religion. The figures represent American types, the frontiersman with his buckskin, uh, farmers, ranchers of various kinds, pioneers with uh, their heads bandaged. And then, of course, we've got this pioneer Madonna. In the borders, you'll see small little vignettes. These vignettes show us a historical imperative to move west. We've got Columbus, Moses and the Promised Land. There's the three kings moving west. Leutze has painted scenes that seem to back up his notion that manifest destiny is some sort of divine will, that it's, it has to happen. That's what a history painting does. It rearranges the facts into a historic single moment. That's the stuff that mythology is made of.